tells her that he's a hunter. And she says, I understood. A hunter is a hunter for life. I understood. You never gave up that good feeling of knowing that you can pick up a rifle, aim it, pull the trigger, and some living, breathing creature, oblivious to you, will die suddenly, stricken, bleeding, utterly surprised, and utterly dead. The Humanities Council called me. They wanted to set up a partnership with libraries, so we were one of those. I got involved in the program by my boss, actually. She thought it would be a good opportunity for me to kind of take charge of something, so she put me in charge of it. Another one that I liked was the Mastiff, was, which was the second story. And I liked that one because it was easy for me to visualize what was happening, how it was going, watching the love story progress and stuff like that as it goes through the story. It was interesting. We're always looking for programs that we can do to benefit and educate the community. <laughs> My favorite was Forked River Roadside Shrine. That was pretty cool. The kid got, he died in a car accident. And you know how on the roadside they build the shrines? Mm -hmm. And he is watching over his shrine and they sing songs he didn't even like. People come to the shrine he didn't even know. Now he's dead. And I thought, now that's interesting. It was especially good because there were questions that Lucas wrote up to uh, get us to talk about various uh, stories in the book. And um, we got a lot of um, opinions and they were quite varied. So it was a good discussion. She, Joyce Carols must well, think all of us have some frightful things in our life, have had frightful episodes of our life. And she wants to describe them with each character, each of her 13 stories. She wants to describe that frightfulness, that Oh, that ogre, that darkness, sh that dark shadow that hovers over the edge of everybody's life. Yeah, it's the same thing Stephen King writes about in different ways. Uh, the discussion made it more interesting, I think. For me, it uh, showed me different viewpoints that I didn't see. It's getting people to read books they normally wouldn't. It's getting people to realize um, what Pulitzer books actually consist of. As I'm going through the books, I'm really realizing what it takes to become a Pulitzer winner, and I feel that they're doing the same thing. Um, also, most of them, they don't read these kind of books, so it's getting them interested in something that they're not used to, getting them out of their comfort zone.